Welcome to Nightline for Friday, October 15th, 2021. I'm Carolina Suero. And I'm Carol Sacco with your school news and announcements for Jose Martin Mass 6 and 12 Academy. The club fair will take place during lunchtime in the spillout area. Please stop by to see what clubs are offered at Jose Martin Mass. Have you lost a water bottle or lunch bag or something else? Your lost item may be in the lost and found in the office. Visit the office and see if your lost item has been found. After school math tutoring for middle school students continues. Tutoring is available Monday with Ms. De La Vega in room 1301, Wednesday with Ms. Henderson in room 1328, and Thursday with Ms. Garcia in room 1316. Tutoring hours are from 2.30 to 4 o'clock on Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. High school students, tryouts for the Spirit Week football game will be held on Wednesday, October 20th, and Thursday, October 21st after school. Meet out on the field at 2.30 if you want to try out for the team. During Hispanic Heritage Month, we celebrate the contributions of Hispanic Americans. Here is Brianna to tell you more about astronaut Franklin Chang Diaz. Buenos dias, mi nombre es Brianna Lorenzo, y hoy vamos a destacar a Franklin Ramon Chang Diaz. Franklin Ramon Chang Diaz nació en San José, Costa Rica, en 1950. Empezó su carrera en la NASA en 1980, cuando fue seleccionado para ser astronauta. El costarricense hizo su primer viaje a bordo del Space Shuttle en 1986 y participó en seis misiones más entre 1989 y 2002. Según la NASA, Shang Díaz llegó a Estados Unidos sin saber inglés y con 50 dólares en el bolsillo en 1968. Al llegar a Estados Unidos, entró a estudiar en la escuela pública secundaria Hartford y aunque fracasó los dos primeros trimestres, en el tercero y el cuarto le fue tan bien que logró una beca de, en la Universidad de Connecticut, de donde se graduó en 1973, de ciencias en, en ingeniería mecánica. Más adelante obtuvo un doctorado en física del plasma aplicada y tecnología de la fusión en el Instituto Tecnológico de Massachusetts en 1977. Al entrar a la NASA, donde se volvió astronauta en 1981, Cheng Díaz inició una investigación sobre el diseño y control de reactores nucleares y fue también especialista de la misión STS-91. Se retiró de la NASA en 2005. Thank you. The yearbook students want to start a tradition involving dedicating the yearbook to a teacher or staff member. As a new tradition for our school, Legend staff chooses one person from the school to dedicate the yearbook to. This can be a faculty member, teacher, or administrator. This person is deemed to be very important to the school and has played a significant role in the lives of students. The link to the survey is available in Schoology. Lanyards for identification cards are on sale for only $3 in room 1101 during your lunch time. Sunday, October 17th is National Clean Your Virtual Desktop Day. Joshua will give you some background and we find out how people in our school manage their files. Hello, my name is Joshua. Did you know about that scary thing on your desktop? It's digital clutter. It's that thing that makes your desktop way less organized. So in celebration of Clean Your Virtual Desktop Day, you should clean up your virtual desktop before Halloween, you know, to get rid of all that scary stuff. And on the topic of the day, it was started by the Personal Computer Museum, which was a museum dedicated to preserving old personal computers of the past. And in celebration of Clean Your Virtual Desktop Day, you, you can observe it by cleaning up your virtual desktop. We do have some tips for you, but we've interviewed some teachers and students. So take a look at these interviews. So, Ms. Torino, how, how do you organize your desktop to be more efficient in um, a class? <laughs> well, stuff. I have a lot of folders. They're all titled different courses, and then I organize them by unit, and that's how I stay organized. Nice. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. So, Ms. Giannis, how do you organize your desktop to make yourself more efficient in class? I use folders and I usually input the work into there and inside the folder I'll put other things to separate by um, subject matter. Mm, cool. Is that it? That's pretty much it. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Giannis. No problem. So, Leah, how do you organize your desktop to do your assignments more efficiently? I have 
have sections for every period and different types of classes, and I organize them in different files. That's how you organize your desktop? Yeah. Okay. So, Melanie, how do you organize your desktop to do your assignments more efficiently? I have an agenda that simply reminds when assignments are due. Is that it? Yeah, that's okay. about it. Cool. Yeah. So, Jose, how do you organize your desktop to do your assignments more efficiently? Um, I organize my desktop by files, so I have my classes in different files so I can keep my work separated. That's how you organize your desktop? Yes. Okay, thank you. So, Eddie, how do you clean your desktop to do homework more efficiently? So with my desktop, I like to have my classes in individual folders. So every single class will have their own folder and I'll have assignments, notes, and just extra stuff that I just have in each folder. Just okay, that's how you clean it up for your virtual desktop? Yep. Okay, thank you. Remember when I said we had tips? Yeah, we did. So the best way to actually organize your desktop is using fo folders to and naming them accordingly. And same thing for your files, naming them accordingly and putting them in the folders that you want. It's also recommended that you should um, put your fi folders somewhere on your desktop, of course, but like like in certain sections of the desktop to categorize, like maybe this is a school section or like a personal section, you know, like stuff like that. And that's it for Clean Your Virtual Desktop Day, and I'll see you soon. Bye! Thank you. Green Club will hold its next meeting after school in room 2105. Students interested in competing in the Designing an App comp competition see Ms. Garcia on 1117 on Tuesday during the TSA meeting after school. The Techni Middle School Club will have a meeting on Monday, October 18th at 225 in room 1334. Please see Mrs. Perez for additional information. And before we go, stay with us for the first episode of a new animated short. Yo, how's it going? What the? What are you doing up there? Have you been watching me? I was making sure you don't fall in. You know, I'm always looking after my homies. You can't just sit up there and observe me, bro. That's gotta be like an invasion of privacy or whatever. Nah, man. The homie code surpasses the priorities of any law. What do you mean? What do you mean, what do you mean? I don't want you to watch me using the toilet. You're such a man, do I, I hate to you, the Industrial Revolution. Hey guys, it's me, Chris. We can all learn a few lessons from these two. Looking out for your friends is great and all, but respect your friends' personal space and boundaries. Hope you all enjoyed this episode of Classroom Catastrophe, and I hope to see you all soon. Senior Shirt Day has been moved to, 20, to the 25th due to United Way dress down. That's it for us today. Have a great weekend.